the desk. That's affirmative, Lieutenant. We're in position. Perfect. Nobody moves until I give this signal. Is that clear? We nail him as soon as he sets foot outside. Right, Lieutenant. Lucky that patrol spotted his car. What's he doing in there? Beats me. You're the profiler, right? I thought you were supposed to be right inside the killer's head. Well, that's just it. What I know of Ethan Mars doesn't match the killer's psychological profile. I know what the jury's gonna choose between your theories and concrete proof. What's that girl doing there? Marsh comes out now, she's gonna be in trouble. What do we do, Lieutenant? Wanna get her out? No, stand down. I should have done an intro when I was on the uh, the main menu because I forgot how <laughs> I, f I forgot the controls. <laughs> but either way, welcome back to <laughs> um heavy rain. Right. She's going inside. Maybe she lives there. Oh, it's just as well. We don't want anyone hanging around if Mars comes out. Ethan, what happened? The police, they're out there. I think they're here to arrest you. We've got to find another way out. Shit. What's he up to in there? Wait for a go on my word. Another one? I forgot how interactive this game was. I haven't played it since December, so... Excuse me if I fuck up a little bit. Come on girl, one more. Oh, no, no. Shit! It's too high! Yeah, that shit for nothing. Oh, can we move something? Come on, girl, you gotta move. Oh. Ready on my go. Stay here, Jade. Out of the question. I'm coming with you. Two men at the door, hold your positions. It's a go! Move 
move faster. Downstairs, they're in the alley. Follow them. The subway. All right, so now we gotta. At least they're not moving cars, but. Can I go this way? Go this way? Go this way, girl. Go, 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 go. Go, get out the way, get out the way, people. Get out the way. I'm surprised people aren't alarmed by the fact that I can't go that way, so I don't get stuck on the way. Oh, wait. Careful! Supposed to go. Quick! Quick! You think Quick is gonna hit us? Oh shit! Oh! oh. <laughs> Less than an hour ago, we heard from the police who have identified the man thought to be the origami killer. Ethan Mars, father of the kidnapped victim Sean Mars, is on the run and should be considered armed and dangerous. A police manhunt is now underway and they hope that they will soon be able to announce the apprehension of this dangerous lunatic. I brought some food. I didn't know what you liked so I brought some of everything. I, I hope that's okay. Any cops? No, I uh, think we lost them. The guy at the desk, though, he gives me the creeps. I don't trust him. Y You're all over the news reports, Ethan. Every cop in the country will be hunting you. They say you're the origami killer. Is it true? Are you the killer, Ethan? I... 
I sometimes have these blackouts. Times where I don't know what I'm doing. As if I'm someone completely different. The only thing I remember afterwards is the bodies. The bodies in the water. Why are you hurt, Ethan? Why were you in that apartment? I think my other self is testing me, testing my love for Sean. He wants to know if I'd love my son enough to save him. That means there's some part of me that knows where Sean is. But the only way to find him is to go through these trials. Why can't you tell that to the police? And tell them what? That I'm a schizophrenic who drowns his victims and has kidnapped his own son? They'd never let me go, and I have to stay free to save Sean. I have no choice. I'm his only chance. When Sean is out of danger, I'll turn myself in, but not until then. You can't keep going like this. You're destroying yourself, Ethan. Finding Sean is the only thing that matters. There has to be another way. You don't understand. Time is running out. Sean will be dead in a few hours. I have no choice! Please, Madison, leave. Forget everything that's happened. There is nothing more you can do for me. If you want to help me, leave. Leave me to do this on my own. Now, when they gave me the option to confide, I didn't think he was going to say all that. I thought he was just going to say his son was missing. <laughs> he thinks it was an origami killer. And now he has to go through these trials to help him. I didn't think he was going to say all that shit. And why he keep telling her to leave? She literally keeps saving his ass. But anyways, I'm back. <laughs> It's been since December, since the last time I played this game. Uh, keep forgetting the controls. But yeah, we do have more trials. But I do remember... His wife told on him. Excuse me, his ex-wife.
Your vodka, sir. Thanks. You look preoccupied, if you don't mind my saying so. Problems with the investigation? Blake is convinced that Mars is the killer. Not you. I thought there was some evidence to that effect. That's true. But it just doesn't make sense. His psychological profile doesn't fit. Neither does the geolocalization. I can't see this father drowning eight victims before kidnapping his own kid. Mars is not the origami killer. I'd stake my life on it. Then who is? I haven't the faintest fucking idea. Maybe you should review the evidence in your possession. That's just what I was thinking of doing. Oh, one last thing, sir. You should be careful not to overindulge in you-know-what. It can be dangerous. Very dangerous. I'm trying to keep a handle on it, but... that's difficult. It gets more and more difficult. It'll end up killing you if you're not careful. That would be most unfortunate, sir. Over the clues. Oh, wait. Well, wow. Looks like there's something new. The video recording from near the park on the afternoon Sean Mars disappeared. I doubt there's anything on it, but you never know. Can we look at it? Shit. A Chevrolet model corresponding to the tire prints passed at 1602 heading for the park, when in the opposite direction at 1637. That could fit the time that Sean Mars disappeared. Could it be the killer's car? I think that's it for the clues. Uh, let me see files. But like I was saying, from where I left off, um, uh, his w ex wife told the cops that they think that she thinks that he <laughs> is a killer. And you know that uh, detective, our partner, the one I don't like, goes along with it. He thinks everybody's a fucking killer. I can stay him. There was always a railroad line adjacent to where the bodies are found. And all the victims disappeared in the fall. Plus, if he was a... Didn't his uh, oldest son die what like a year ago or two? The killer is white, aged between 30 and 45. He is intelligent, calm, and determined. An organized type. He has a car. He's probably employed but his work allows him free time. I think I've seen this last time. And uh, wait, oh shit. And, uh, I forgot what I was saying. But yeah, then his oldest son died when he was, like, well, like a year ago or two. So that's when the blackout started to happen. If that was the case, eh, I'm pretty sure these origami killings have been happening for a couple of years. If I remember, did I do all this shit? Wait, 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 let me see the, let me see the car, give me the car, give me the car, let me see the car. Ah, 
Pity we can't see the driver's face. All right, never mind. And Matt. No, Matt, what the fuck? I right, hold it. I don't know what else to do, so can we go back? Unless I'm missing something. Damn it. <laughs> Alright, I already did these, I believe. Nothing correct. Yeah. <sighs> so uh... the car was stolen. Let's see. A certain Jackson Neville was suspected of stealing it, but the charges were dropped. Not enough evidence. How can I put that up there? Oh, nope. Yeah. Well, he doesn't have an address or anything? Let me analyze it. Jackson Neville. AKA Mad Jack, involved in several cases of buying and selling stolen vehicles. Considered to be very dangerous. This guy might have provided the killer with a car. It's a pretty slim lead, but it's all I have right now. One last thing, sir. You should be careful not to overindulge in your walk. It can be dangerous. Very dangerous. Shit! It's... It's coming! Tryptocaine. The tube is on the bedside table. All I need is to take some, and the pain will go away. I should resist. This is gonna kill me. I know I can resist. I just need to stay in control and, and do something until it goes away. I want him to take it, so I'm not trying to go for it. But should I go for it? Because I don't want to. Take it. Let's see if I can get that bottle. <laughs> 